G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another let's play let's go let's see let's do and today what the hell are we going to do? Star citizen folks and yes I am still at our corp mining area 45 on Weller and why am I here? Well I'm doing a bit of background research at the moment and I'm just trying to figure out and see which one shall I buy Laranite or Diamond? And I think, according to the internet, I think if I buy some Laranite, I might get some more profit than what I would from Diamond. So, although things are moving around. Oh, I wish I took the fucking C2. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> anyway, Laranite it is. So, oh, hang on, why didn't that work? Why doesn't that fucking work now? Okay. So it's 46.74k. So we'll remember that number, folks. 46.7. So here we go. We're going to go back. In. Well, oh, we still have the 600i, just so you know. And I still can't find the bloody cargo area. So 47.46.7, right? I'll just whack the calculator up because we'll probably need this later. That's not going to work. All right. Just making a mental note. So here we go, folks. We're going in, and I think I fucked up, haven't I? I have. I've gone the fucking wrong way. <laughs> Um, this is horrible, folks. This is extremely horrible. All right, what? Why am I doing this? I'm. I don't trust the game at the moment. I'll say it. I, I'm. I'm gonna say it. Fuck it. I'm gonna say it. I don't trust the game at the moment, and um, I don't know if this thing is going to work properly because I've been seeing some very strange things happening at the moment. So, yeah, let, let's hope it works. I mean, it's not that much of cargo, so I'm not going to start crying, but still. All right, so that's there. That's fine. And this one here, there's nothing in there. Now, I wonder, and obviously I don't have my multi-tool with me, otherwise I'd give it a fucking shot. And I might do this next time with just some waste material to see, but I'm wondering, can I actually fit that? That through the back, and then buy some more i'm really wondering and i might do that in a later video okay it's not going to be happening today but if i can move these things off the grid and put them somewhere else i mean got the space for it and it works when i do it on the vulture why can't i do that here i really don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a shot but i'm not gonna be stupid i'm gonna go buy waste and try that so that way i don't waste any auec haha <laughs> there you go wasting waste or not wasting waste. There you go. Anyway, we're going past. These doors are opening now. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. We're at the front of the ship again. Wait. Okay. That was the other ship that was... Was that there before? That wasn't there before. I thought it was an upside down C2. Or did things move around again? No, no, it is a C2. It is still upside down. Sorry, it looked like um, the Corsair for a moment. Okay, fair enough. So, Ev, where are we going? Well, according to the internet, I'm going to get some really good trading value at Lawville. So, I'm going to do that. So, this, folks, is going to be a luxury... Um, what do you want to call it? Cargo run. There you go. That's the title for this one. A luxury cargo run. And why am I calling it a luxury cargo run? Am I going to get some really good um, alpha UEC from this? Definitely not. But I am in the very nice ship. So I'm going to put this in quantum once I get it there. Come on, Ev, let's get out of the atmosphere. Okay, so we're flying, we're flying, we're still flying. Where's the marker? I can't find it because I was in the right fucking mode. And, aha, uh -huh. is the marker in the on the planet? Of course it is. <sighs> Fuck this star map. I mean, the star map is good, but bloody hell, the, the mapping is driving me crazy at the moment. And again, I, if you guys are having similar problems, let me know in the comments. 
So there we go, Louisville, L O. At least we can do the search. So Louisville, there should be a button to say like update. So there you go, see, it's added a new quantum marker. There we go. So this should be better now. Okay, that's another ship. Look, I've got cargo. I'm not going to fuck around with that one. My recent battles with this thing have not done me any favors. So here we go. Let's go. Nice. Let's have a look. Why is that marker still red for Lawville? Or Hurston, I should say. What? <laughs> really? Okay, back to this. Is what I'm talking about here, folks. There should be an update quantum beacon with movement or something like that. Again, we have to do that. Set the course again. Now it's OM4. There's a different marker there. Is this going to fucking work this time? Okay, it's at the top part of the moon. This should actually hopefully work. So this part is definitely not the luxury part. This part is a bit of fucking around. Hey, here we go. But see, they have to fix this. They really have to fix this. Um, I'll also be okay with an update button. That, that's that's fine. You've got the cancel. Move to the other side and just say refresh update. It should do it automatically. It is a game, but um, I'm also okay with that. So here's the luxury part here, folks. Instead of sitting around on the pilot's chair waiting and waiting and waiting, and if I was in many other ships, there's not that much to do. But with this ship, there is a lot to do. So we're going to go down to the, um, well, to the fun parts. Let's call it like this. The recreation areas of the ship. Go down here. Open the door. Go down to here. Ah. No, that's not the... Jesus, I don't know this ship for fucking anything. That's not what was meant to happen. I was meant to... It kind of on the same area where it should be, but not where I was hoping to go. Let's do this again, shall we? This is where I was going. So this is the recreation area. So let's have a look. It's in quantum travel. I've got my cargo in the ship. There is not that much else you can do, but it gives you the opportunity. Let's do, let's, we're going to go have a seat here. No, nah, fuck it. We won't. It would be so fucking cool, really, if they got the fucking billiard table to work. And I'm, I'm being fucking serious here, folks. It would be so awesome. How cool that'd be doing quantum travel and then just having a game of pool while, while it's flying from one side of the system to the other. That would be fucking awesome. What would be awesome too is if I can actually sit down. Is it letting me sit down? Yes. Of course. <laughs> Look out. Yeah, just leaning back. Nice day, isn't it? Good day for a lovely travel. Now, you're probably wondering why I would be wearing my space helmet inside my ship. It is Star Citizen after all. You don't know what's going to fucking happen. I could end up moving somewhere and I could end up falling out of the fucking ship. So we don't want that. So let's again, I'm, I'm finding that this thing is jittering a bit too much. So give me a second, folks. Let me just fuck around with the speeds of the walking. There we go. Much better. Yeah. Now she's got a little bit of a wiggle when she walks. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I, I suppose that's needed. So yeah, here we go. That was a very nice little walk around. Let's go in around here. Or do I go back? Honestly, I'm just going for a little bit of a stroll because what else do you do when the ship is flying like this? How's it looking underneath there? Yep, okay, I didn't fall through. We're good. Now, you're probably wondering where I'm going. I'm actually wanting to go to the front of the ship and I think this is... I'm calling it the captain's quarters, all right? I could be completely wrong. But this is pretty freaking cool. Although you would be very cautious wherever you land at a spaceport or something because everybody could see what you're doing. But yeah, now I'm not going to sit on the bed or do anything. I'm not even going to sit down here in fear of me falling through the ship. But there's a desk there. And is that, hey, toilet, bathroom. That's what we want to see. 
Come on, let's have a look as well. Yeah, toilet's there. Very nice. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Why is it doing... Okay, whew. For a second, I thought it fucked up. Okay. Or did it just stop? Did I come out of quantum already? Maybe that's why I just jittered like that. Okay, I'm avoiding taking the elevator. I have come out of quantum. Look, if you looked at the bottom. Oh, what is that fucking noise? That's all right. So whatever it is, it sounds very loud and very like... That is loud. Apologize for that, folks. I don't know why, but it seems to be ringing in my ears right around here. Like I'm in some type of data server room. I'm just going to open this up to have a look. Okay, so they are, they have done it like that. Just the mirror image. Okay. So, very nice. I still think that the um, the room is a bit of a throwback to the original Star Trek series. If you remember the, the rooms on the Enterprise how they have the um the green or the orange bedding and how they've got that like partition thing in the middle yeah i i, I see that anyway ship has definitely come out of quantum so we better get the fuck out of here before somebody else comes out of quantum and just fucking crashes into us because we don't want that today and so we're gonna go to lawville come in for a landing there at some point in time i'm gonna keep this up folks so normally i would cut this stuff out but today in today's video you need to see how this all goes because it's not as simple as okay here there whatever things happen and they take forever like for example the whole navigating quantum beacons and markers because the game didn't want to just put the right fucking path there i mean how hard would it have been but anyway i'm bitching here folks but all in all, it's working. A bit frustrating, but it is working. Mm, Lawville's coming up quite nicely. There's cloud coverage all over the place. Now, usually I don't come to Lawville that often, purely because my crap top um, tends to struggle with this place. So I try to stay at Area 18 because it's not that graphics intensive, as it, even though it might look at but it's not that graphics intensive as what Lawville is. Lawville seems to just chew through this. Which is fine. If you've got a rig and everything set up for this and you can, you, you've can, you got it all good, then you're fine. But if you've got an average PC or a laptop, it struggles. And it really struggles. And the only thing I can't upgrade on my crap top at the moment is the graphics card because they've soldered it onto the motherboard. Yay. And I'm not in any mood to unsolder the bloody thing and do all that shit. I could, but I can't be fucked. I'll wait for the next computer, which might be in a couple of years' time, so who knows. So we're flying in, folks. That's a little bit about me. So we're flying in. As you can see, we're going extremely fast. But this is what it looks like. What I'm wondering is, where's that fucking big building? Wasn't there a big building around here at some point? Or is it not there anymore? Or is my computer not loading it up? At least I can see the spaceport. That's the easy part. That's all I really want now, actually, to be honest with you. So here we go. Come on, Ev. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Push it. Push it. Push the engines as hard as you can. Maybe move out of the way of that fucking big building which I was looking for before. Okay. I must admit, even though it's graphic intensive and my computer is struggling, I don't mind what they've done to this place. So let's go call for a landing. This annoys me as well. If you just want to, if we're talking about annoying things, you've got your HUD and all the other stuff displaying things here, and it's on top of each other. I mean, they might need to move that around a bit. So where is it? Hangar eleven. There you go. So they say it's going to be near the sign. Okay, fair enough. Let's go in for a bit of a look. Uh, frame by frame by frame by frame. Yep, we're, we're moving fast here, folks. Okay, so we're opening up here. It is definitely the one for me. So I'm going to come in here for a landing. We're going to luxury land, that's for sure. 
Now, hopefully I don't fuck this up because it's huge enough not to fuck up, but you never fucking know. Oh, I think I just missed that by a bee's dick. All right, so we're down. ka -ching! Here we go, folks. Engines are off. Power I'm going to leave on. I don't care at this point. Actually, I should care because I've got a cargo area full of what I need. We'll get out of the chair. And we'll walk slowly. Why are we walking slowly? Because I changed the speed before. So again, scroll wheel, folks, if you don't know. You scroll up, you walk faster, and when you go into a light run, hold shift, you go even f faster than that. And when you scroll backwards to a nice little walking pace, and you wonder why is it fucking taking so long, now you know. So we're going down, down, down. I just got a feeling that I'm in a very big landing area. It's probably going to take me about 65 minutes to get to one side. I have that feeling. Yep, it's one of the big ones, <laughs> which is fine. Off we go for a run. And this is why editing folks helps at times like this. But this is the gameplay, all right? This is a real gameplay. This is a real let's play. It doesn't get any more real than that. So you have to run and run and run and turn. Now I pressed F on the keyboard. Yes, something lit up. Very nice. Trying to do a little shortcuts here. Yay, elevator. And now F just does nothing. So we go back to the spaceport. Back as if I like I just left from here. And now watch my computer struggle. Here we go. Get ready for the show, folks. That's if the door fucking opens. Is the door going to open? Oh, yep, it opened. Oh, here we go. We're struggling. It's framing up. Oh, it's not as bad, but it is not as good as what it is like at every 18. Okay, so we want to... No, 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 no. <laughs> we don't want the prospector. Leave that where it is. We want to store the Origin i600 Touring. Okay, these guys are talking. I honestly wonder if they're going to start introducing customs into the game, like, like, like how you do when you go to the airport, when you're going from one country to another. We have to go through customs and they end up keeping you there for like about quite a bit of time and ask you questions. At least I get asked the questions all the time. And I'll, if you guys want to hear some great custom stories, I'll let you guys know in another video. Let me know in the comments if you actually want to hear that. Ah, oh, no, fuck it, I'll tell you now. If you've watched this far, you deserve to have a good laugh. So, here we go, folks. So, as I was um, leaving Australia, I was flying to Europe, um, and it was one of those, like, departing at um, god-awful hour. I think it was, like, departing at midnight or something like that. So, go, go through customs, um, or security is the first part. Security was a great one. So, go through security. At that time of day, there, there was only one international flight going, which is obviously mine. I was either very early or very late. I'm, I'm thinking maybe late. And so I was going through the security part and when it was only me. So I've gone through the whole security screening thing and the guys have looked at me and they've said, yep, you know, no problem, fine, everything's good, keep on going. And then this other security agent approaches me and he says, excuse me, sir, do you have a moment? I'm like, um, well, not really, but what's up? And he pulls out <laughs> a piece of paper in one of those plastic laminated um, things. And he says, okay, sir, you have been randomly selected um, for a screening for drugs, uh, explosives, and all the other stuff. And I got pissed off. And, I, and he goes, are you okay with this? I go, no, actually, I'm not. And he goes to me, why? I go, I, I have a, a problem with this. And he goes, what, you don't want to be scanned and have you, everything checked? I go, no, I've got no problem with that. I go, I've got the problem with the word random because I'm the only one fucking here. And I looked around and <laughs> I was the only one here. The other people were the um, security agents. I've gone, not random. I go, if you wanted to scan me, just come up and say, look, mate, can we just um, scan you so we can do our jobs and go home? 
Because that would have been fine, but don't give me fucking random. So that was obviously the first part. Now, if you think people in the airports don't talk to each other, they do. So at passport control or the customs, they're just like, oh, we know who you are. Going, really? Do you now? And they go, yeah, you were the guy giving the security guy a hard time. So they gave me a hard time back. So yeah, they were just asking me thousands of questions, but um, yeah, all good in the end. But still, it's just random. Yeah. Random, sure, of course. So here we go. Speaking of random, let's see what happens here. Remember, we started off, okay, so we got roughly about, what was it, 47? I would say f maybe 10K-ish in profit. So, okay, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either. But anyway, that's a bit of a thing. I'll, I'll elaborate on that story a little bit later in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Let's see how we go with the money. Yay, we're doing okay. See you in the next one. Let's see what the next one's going to bring us.